I stay home all day long, and you don't even care. I'm like in a cage. <laughs> Just because you are a movie director, Edward, doesn't mean you understand everything. Really? You're getting old, you know? You're like a grumpy old man. What about you? What do you do the whole day? I worked five days a week, and on Saturday I worked 12 hours, and on Sunday, 12 hours. So my week has eight days. Yours has seven. What do you do the whole day? Run around? Run around, lay down, and eat like a pig? <laughs> you just called me a pig? Whatever. Whatever. What did you just say? I'm getting old. I don't understand things. Maybe I'm getting a little bit old. Short tempered. With you. Sit. Sit. Whatever. Hmm. But here in Canada, you know, you have a good life. And you shouldn't take everything for granted. Sometimes, you know, they respect animals more than humans. I can tell from your accent that you come from another country. How long ago did you say? It was about 20 fucking years ago. Hey, language. Don't talk to me like that. Sorry. Whatever. Well... It's my years that are passing by, so you wouldn't mind me getting emotional about it once in a while, right? Silent treatment, eh? Hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you. It's my fault. I'll uh, treat you today. And uh, we'll be friends again. Forty, right? You good boy. Mm -hmm. This country is a happy place for the animals. But just because you are happy, it does not mean that the rest of the world is happy the same. What do you mean? There is worse cases than yours out there, my friend. I will tell you the story of two dogs I knew personally. The story of the stray dog, Romeo, and the beautiful circus dog, Juliet. 
My name is Juliet. I come from a wealthy family and I do not know what suffering means. I was born and raised in a circus. I'm a stray dog. I like the adventures with females. That's why they call me Romeo. I eat whenever I can, drink here and there, in short, I don't give a damn. And now I'm falling in love with Juliet. It was a regular morning like all the others. We went out to enjoy the city life, but we didn't know what was in store for us. We never thought our life could take such a turn. Romeo gets in all my shows half an hour earlier. She walks out secretly, and we roam together around the big city. I can feel she adores me. I'm falling in love, and I just can't help it. Good morning. Did you sleep well? No, nah, it was terribly cold last night. Jeez, Marquis, come on. What are you doing? Get up. Get up. Come on. Are you, you going to join us or not? Get, stop being so lazy. May I bite you a little bit? Not with your teeth. Not with that teeth, she said. Oh. Mommy, mommy, do you want the morning story? Yeah, yeah, the morning story. Uh, which one? The one about how we became stray yeah, dogs. Yeah. Okay. I'm all the wild animals. We were the first ones to be tamed. And not only because we're cute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course not but because we've had a glorious past. And instead of working together to elevate and make ourselves better, we went on fighting and fighting one another. So history abandoned us. And, and, ever, since... and ever since we were called stray dogs. <laughs> oh my God, that's so funny. <laughs> exactly, because we never heard anyone say stray lion. A stray tiger? Stray lion. <laughs> Shut up. What I'm gonna do with them, they're so stupid. Mm. What? What is that? Is it edible? Because I'm hungry. <laughs> no, baby. It's a weapon. It is dangerous and it kills. I don't understand what happened. They got all these guns and killed one another for a while and then they just threw them out in the garbage. We didn't check today's paper. There's something about you guys. About us? The municipality attacks the pack of the stray dogs. Oh my god, oh my god. you. The municipality with the help of the government. The municipality with the help of government. With the special bylaw number this and that. Dated this and that day. Has determined to exterminate all stray dogs. Thus, becoming a source of infections, diseases such as Leishmanosa and more. The group of city hunters are ready to start the killing. Along with their hunting guns, they are authorized to use all means. Beginning with the most primitive ones like axes, butcher knives, knives, pocket knives, poisons. Up to the most modern weapons like tasers, electric chairs, and intravenous injections, which are considered less painful executions. The government has placed 40,000 US dollars on this project. Every citizen who kills a stray dog and hands over to authorities his pairs of ears, will be immediately rewarded with five American dollars. The handing over of the fair pairs has already begun. Everyone, run for your life! They're burning us alive! For God's sake, why did they start the killing this early? You don't get it? All the sins are committed in darkness! We make a crowd of almost 10,000 creatures! All the garbage we swallow, we do the work of 10 garbage collection companies. Yeah. We help them and they pay us back by shooting us. This is such fucking bullshit. No, but God. Sister, this is just pure ingratitude. Oh, come on. We stink and we've become a burden and it's just too much to bear. No one wants to go near us. We must hide before the matter's cleared up. Why do they want to kill you? What How would I done? know? I obviously have what been mean? with you this what entire time. You deserve no it. Idea. You stink and because of you the whole oh. city stinks. Go to hell, you dirty bastards! You're pissing me off! Why don't you shut up and chain yourself tighter? Yeah. You don't know any better, do you? Well, I'd better get myself out of here before I get a stray bullet. Something doesn't smell right in here.
how beautiful is the city and how much fun it is to wander with no purpose up and down. I'm learning so many things from Romeo. The world is a much larger place than the circus tent. She's so fragile and sincere. I can't even believe that Juliet, this famous circus beauty, has fallen for someone like me. Oh, now I have to take care of her. To feed her and protect her. You must turn back to the circus tent. It's safer there for you. But couldn't they find another solution better than guns? <sighs> if I were a house dog, I could have lived a happy life. Don't worry, Romeo. I will follow you and we will never separate from each other. Ever. The action of municipality has been successful. So far have been killed 7,777 stray dogs. The number of the damned is being reduced day by day. The municipality regrets to shed dog's blood, but there is no other way out. The cleanliness of our city is much more important than the life of some wretched stray dogs. And let us rejoice at this victory. Uh, after all, they have no right to kill us, brother. Besides, don't they have international conventions that protect the rights of animals? Uh, yes. Forget about it. They've got conventions for themselves, too, but they don't give a shit about them. They kill each other right in the very heart of Europe. Just for, just for the fun of it. And you think they'll disturb their sleep for some wretched creatures like us? Well, they should. Why shouldn't they? I'm telling you, they don't give a damn about it. I can't believe it. I don't want to run anymore. Romeo, come. Let's watch some TV. Please. All right, baby. You see the store over there? It's a beauty salon. Oh. Now look at that girl. They are dolling her up because she is going to get married. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> mm hmm Meanwhile, this is a cemetery <laughs> for dogs. Oh. <laughs> How sad. Oh, <laughs> Why is she crying like that? Well, she's lost both her husband and her dog. What is she saying now? That she loved her dog more than she loved her husband. Oh my god. Everyone's got a problem in this world, I guess. Mm -hmm. Poor us. To be born in this damn place. Better not to have been born at all. What's wrong with them? They're fighting. With whom? With themselves. With each other. This is horrible. This is horrible. What's horrible is getting our daily bread. And it's not just a day or two. This is the whole life. This is really horrible. Let's get out of the city. It's impossible to live in here any longer. What? Where are we gonna go? How about we're staying in this shop over here? Hopefully someone will buy us and we'll be spared. Let's listen first to what they're saying. <laughs> hey, get out of there. That's my food, buddy. Hey, you don't make me come over there. I'll break your feet. Get out of here, you rascal. <laughs> I took only one piece of grain. What's wrong with you? I want to stay in the cage. Let me out of here. It's not fair. I like the cage. I want to get out of here. Mm. Go out. Go. But by the time the municipality hunters learn that you're not stray dogs, your balls are gone. Oh boy, those balls, am I right? No, you're gonna be in big, big trouble there, oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. oh, oh. oh, oh. oh, oh. oh, oh. Already am I. Beautiful. I'm 
school. I'm extremely beautiful. Very beautiful, girl. Dear. Yeah. Very beautiful, dear. So Very beautiful. beautiful. But you are locked in a cage. Wow, oh, I wish I could destroy this cage. <laughs> I'll climb up here. I'll climb up here and I'll be happy. We love this cage very much. It's not a lot. Now it's dead. You know, I don't want to die. I don't understand. How did these creatures end up like this? There is a disease that is called the disease of the cage. Is it contagious? Let's get out of here. There are way worse cases than ours out there. I decided to abandon the circus tent and join my Romeo. It was hard because I'd spent my childhood over there. But I've decided to be with him till the end. It was my destiny. Let's go to that bunker. Well, let's have a look first, because you never know. There's usually families or some couples in there. There's nobody there. It's free. if you like. Hey! You down there! Are you happy? Shut the fuck up! What? Lower your voice! What's going on to you? Shut up! Or it's over for us! Well, why? What's happening? Have you heard the saying, the big fish eats the little one? Well, that's coming from us. From down here. What? <laughs> Do you see those two? These guys over there, rolling around over there. Yeah, so what? Well, once they're done, they're going to be hungry. And guess who's going to be dinner? Can you live like this? In such terror and fear for all of your life? It's a given, buddy. It's our fate. Written somewhere in the sands. Nothing we can do about it. Let's get out of here. There are worse cases than ours out there. going to the zoo. Are you crazy? The wild animals will eat us up. The lion, the tiger, the wolf. Hold on. It's true we weren't able to get along with humans, but with animals it's quite different. They're animals just like us. We can share with them our misery. Oh, come on. Maybe they'll sympathize with us.
God, I hate these iron bars. I want to get out of here. I can't stand it anymore. Oh, Sire Lion, King of all animals. And you, my lady queen. Mm, speak up. What are you doing here? We, the stray dogs of the capital, are in big trouble. Yes, they want to exterminate us. We beg of you to shelter us in here in your zoo. Couldn't you get along with your humans out there? No, we couldn't. But it was not our fault. We came to ask your permission to stay here because, well, we fear that the beast might kill us. Please. This is bad. Very bad. We beg of you to put out a good word for us out there. For as long as we're here, do it this time, and we swear we won't bother you anymore. Please, Splendid Lion King, help us. Oh, we beg you, Sir Lion, to help us pretty, please. Please. I don't know what to say. In here, I am no longer the king of animals you know from your stories when you were small. A king makes no sense without a kingdom. And a lion makes no sense without his freedom. Not a tiger, or a wolf, or any other animal. Not even a dog. You may shelter yourselves in here. I will issue an order, and nobody will touch you. But not because it is my will. But because we are almost finished. They are hungry, exhausted, and desperate. And the real danger is that you will eat them up. Ah! 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 I'm a bitch! Fuck you! Ah! Ah! as soon as possible. Oh my god. Oh, come there on. are way worse cases than ours out there. Hurry up. We left the zoo terrified. We now understood that it was a great misfortune to be small, unprotected, and without allies in this jungle we call Earth. We decided to spend together the rest of our remaining days and never ever separate from each other. Oh, you happy flying birds. Lucky you to have your wings and stay away, away from the troubles of this world. Oh, how we wished it was true. We, we don't, don't know, know what has happened, happened to us lately. Our, Our friends were killed while flying in the sky. We were shot from down there as if there were any planes. We started flying in groups of ten and ended up in groups of only four or five. Even skies are not safe anymore. How about we go to the cattle market? Who knows? Maybe someone will buy us and we'll be safe. Sir? Sir, can you give me a piece of bread, please? Hey, get out of here. Get Come out on, of here. Come on, please. Go on. Come on, just get out of here, you Just give beggar. me something, please. Go on, get the hell out! Okay. doing over there? I don't know. Should we go over? Let's ask first. Oh, all right. Hey, you! Have you not heard anything about what's going on? Let's suppose I have. Then get the hell out of here before somebody shoots you. You think you are scaring me? <laughs> nice try. I'll kiss the hand that will kill me. That's what I'm looking for. You seem lost, my friend. You see the world only in black and white. Why? Do you see it in color? No, 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 no. We see it black and white too, but we try to imagine it as if it was colored. You gain nothing if you cry all the time. 
Do you gain anything if you laugh all the time? I am tired of hearing only sad things, and I'm too old to hope for a better life. Long ago, when I was young and strong, they needed me. They kept me well, and I had a good life. But now that I grew old, they threw me away in the middle of nowhere like a used lemon. So, leave me alone in my fate. All right, all right, but you would better run for your life. God. God, you who take care of the flying birds. Why don't you take care of the stray dogs, too? It's not our fault if we are dirty and sick. We multiply by your grace and will. High up there in the heavens, you are all alone. I know everyone asks you for something, and you might forget some requests sometimes, but please, please listen to my prayer today, because it's the most important one. Romeo, being that we're here, can we ask them whether they're happy or not? Fine. Ask them if you like. Okay. Hey! You down there! Are you happy? Why aren't they answering? I don't know. Yeah. Let's ask the other ones. Hey, you down there. Are you happy? Don't crack jokes around here. You look like an educated dog. Can you not do that to me? Hey, you over there. Aren't you happy? Why don't they answer? I don't know. Where are you taking us? Where are you taking us, Mom? Dad? Where are you going? Oh, there are two it. slaughters each day. I was spared this morning, but I will not be spared later. Please just don't do this to me. Please don't. Have... Uh, uh, slow down, man. It hurts. They don't even let one eat in peace. Hey, you donkeys. What about you? Are you guys happy? Really? Fuck off, you bitch. What? what? You stupid idiot. What about you, sheep? Are you happy? Romeo, let's leave this place. I don't like it here. This world is a real mess. Oh, God. Oh, God. Look over here. Hey, you. Your life has just come to an end. Have you ever been happy? You're asking me a very hard question on my last day. One needs a whole life to answer that, and yet sometimes it's not enough. Our own happiness does not depend on us. The strings of our destiny are in the hands of other creatures who are bigger than us. Stronger than us, and they pull them the way they please. Oh! Oh! 
We're born with death written on our foreheads and often we don't know if life is death or death is better than life. Uh, uh, I'm leaving now because I, I can't breathe any longer. If you're out here to look for happiness, you're looking for it in the wrong place. Happiness is a very rare thing in this part of the world. Oh no. Let's leave this hell as soon as possible. Get that film director off his ass and get him in here! We need him to answer some questions! Oh, I'll go and give him a piece of my mind! Oh. Go on, Julia, go! Go, kill the asshole! Hey, what, what the hell is wrong with you? Get up You me. are a movie director. They paid you to make a movie about us. They have given you money because they believe you are a very wise man. So, tell us, what should we do now? Should we allow him to just kill us for no reason? That's not my Either you business, brother. That's not my business. Get off me. Oh. Get off me. Why do you care? No. Get off me. You're driving me crazy. Oh. Oh, it's none of your business now. Oh, oh it's none I of your see. Business, huh? eh? mm, yes, I can now tell. It's a habit of yours to talk back. Oh, I'll go and give him a piece of my mind. Oh. Good, take your stupid glasses. Don't you have any remorse about what's happening as an artist, as a citizen, or are you only there to sell your moral theories, huh? Of course not. But it's not only you that suffer in this world. I'm trying to make my movie, and I'm suffering like a dog. Hey, movie director, watch your tongue! Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry, like a pig. Why do you put me in front of a camera? The place of a director is at the back of a camera. There's no right that you put me in front of a camera. I can't do anything about you. In front of a camera, you know, stay actors, liars, and politicians. But when actors lie, it's not a big deal. But if the politicians lie, that's totally a different story. You get me? It's different. What? Give me my glasses back now. Yeah. Give him his glasses back once and for all. Uh, take them back, you stupid dark glasses. So do you think they have the right to kill us? Do they? Speak up. Why did you shut up? Say something. Really? What about Leishmanoza, that sickness that comes from you to us for free? Huh? What? We didn't do it on purpose. What about you guys? You guys are killing each other for no reason at all, huh? No matter how you slice it, you still shifted the blame on us! Hey, buddy, it's not my fault. I can't do anything about it. It's not my fault. But hey, why don't you sue them? Bring them in court, brother, and that way we know once and forever either it's your fault or theirs. Oh yeah, who's gonna judge that, huh? Well, God Almighty! I'll put your hey, shitty you script in the garbage bin. No bit. business you with my script. Bring the script liar. back here, I no. said. Hey! All we are doing is spinning around in circles. This project is a lost cause. I don't understand. Why do they want to kill us by all means? I mean, what have we done to them? What's the amount of money the municipality has placed for your killing? I don't know, some 40,000 US dollars, I believe? Why? Oh, with an even smaller amount of money, I could have found a better solution. What is that? When? Where? Right here, right now. With only a few veterinarians, some medicine, uh -huh. we could transform it right away into an institution. Into an institution? But, but how? Hold on, Romeo, hold it. Uh -huh. For example, Center for the Cure and the Cleaning of Stray Dogs. Do you get it now? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Go, go on. What else? Hold on a bit, Romeo. Uh, hold on a bit, Romeo. Hold on. In this center, the stray dogs could be vaccinated, cleaned, uh -huh. will be given a name, and who in the world would hesitate to pay something to have a dog like that at home? Oh my god, this is fantastic! <laughs> that was impossible. I couldn't figure it out earlier. Know, right? This is a brilliant idea because they can't uh, clean our city killing. Besides, uh, it will bring financial profits. Mm -hmm. It is really very simple. Oh my god, I, I feel know. so relieved. <laughs> I am such a smart dog. I am a genius. La <laughs> 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 oh, but wait, there are still two other issues to be resolved. 
First, how can we bring this idea into municipality's head? Secondly, how will we survive until then? Well, now I know what we should do. Really? Yes. Oh, I love you very much, Romeo. I love you too, baby. Embrace me, please, Romeo. Julia, I would like to thank you for bringing back in me the desire to live.
How about you? Over there. Are you happy? Why don't they answer? How about you guys? You guys should be happy. Are you happy? What the heck? Hello? Are you happy? Hello? Hey you! You guys over there! How about you? Are you happy? Hello? Are you happy? Hello? Why don't you answer? Hello? <laughs>